Hey everyone, Paul from Xperity here. Today we're going to talk about the hip hinge. This is a fundamental movement to the programs that we do here at Xperity. We're not only going to learn how to strengthen the back side of our hips, but we're going to learn how to keep our lower back resilient and safe from injury. So the hip hinge is built off of our neutral spine concept. So Ange is gonna start here by getting into that neutral spine using the breathing drills that we do here at Xperity. So take a deep breath in, force all the air like you're blowing a candle out right here. You'll see the ribs come down towards your hips. So now her back is nice and neutral here. So now what Ange is gonna do is fold at the waist and her hips are gonna go back while her spine remains neutral. So now she's loading the muscles in her hamstrings and her glutes well, the lower back is simply stabilizing and learning how to stay neutral. Go ahead and stand up, and do it again. Cool, go ahead and stand up. So two common mistakes from the hip hinge are one, spilling the pelvis. And what that means is, as we, as we bend from our hips, we go into that sassy selfie pose. So go ahead and show what that means, show what spilling the pelvis means. So you can see here, there's a big bowl in Angie's back here, and the spine is left in its neutral position. So a good cue for this, or what we would say for this, is for Angie to get her ribs down. Go ahead and stand up and show what that means. Ribs down means extend them, get the ribs up. Ribs down means get the ribs down towards your hips. We can do those breathing drills, or we can just manually engage our abs, right? And now the spine is back to neutral. The other common mistake is rounding the back, so losing the neutral spine but going in the other direction. All right, go ahead and give that a shot, Ange. There you go, round, round, round. And so a common correction for this one, we would say chest up. So in this case, we want Angie to lift her chest up to find that neutral spine again, and now she's gonna push to the ground and stand up. So the hip hinge is a fundamental skill for all of our programs. It can take many different forms. There's many different exercises that fit into this category, but there's always gonna be some level of it in someone's program. And it can be very basic from laying on the ground and doing some glute bridges, all the way up to very advanced and deadlifting several hundred pounds. The idea is though, that we're not gonna progress from one variation to a harder one until we've got this concept down of keeping our spine neutral and bending from our hips properly. For more information or videos just like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook, or visit us at ExperityFS.com.